When the movie begin, the initial text expresses that the term, Sisu, is Finnish and has no immediate interpretation except for is basically a power of relentless assurance that comes out when generally important. A storyteller then begins by expressing that it is three years into the Second Great War, 1944. Finland has consented to a peace negotiation with the Soviet Association to drive German soldiers out of their country. The Nazis have started to earth tactics, destroying towns, roads, and bridges and capturing people. Deep in the wilderness of Lapland, there is a man who has decided to leave the war behind him. In Lapland, a miner named Artami Korpi is with his little dog in a space mining for gold. He finds a little gold chunk camps in the area over a few nights while enemy planes fly over. Ultimately, Artami manages to find a plentiful gold deposit in the dirt, making him cheer. He accumulates his gold and begins to advance toward the closest bank. A Nazi company drove by Bruno Heldorf clears its path through the land, taking with them a gathering of ladies as their prisoners. He's riding to his death anyway. A small group of Nazis encounters Artami and the dog while he rides on his horse. They command to stop him and request to inspect his bags. Artami sends the dog to run away and hide while the Nazis begin taking shots at him. This old fucker is a gold miner. The lead Nazi tracks down Artami's gold and begins to insult him, saying he and the others will take it. Artami answers by grabbing a knife and sticking it in the Nazi's head. He then continues to cut and shoot the excess Nazis, including involving one as a human safeguard. After that, Artami continues on the pony. Heldorf and his henchmen discover the bodies of their fellow soldiers along with a gold rock that was left. They pursue Artami's path and start firing at him. Although the horse manages to escape the gunshots, it is blasted to pieces when it runs over a mine. Before needing to hide, Artami mourns his horse. Artami is discovered and cornered by Heldorf and the other Nazis. He sees a mine nearby and throws a rock at it, creating an explosion that helps him disappear. 
The Nazis begin firing in his general direction and however he covered with shield. A young Nazi has been sent by Heldorf to check on Artami still alive. Artami blowing him up by tossing a minefield at his head. Heldorf sends two more soldiers engaged, forcing them to cross paths with mines and both die as well. You. And you. Pick me. Heldorf command to march up two women prisoners front of their platoon, among them one of the female prisoners I know, volunteers to go up ahead along with a second woman. I will pass on the information. The Nazis advance, Heldorf speaks to one of his mates who discovered Artami's dog tags and who knows about Artami and his history of serving in the Winter War. Since the Russians took Artami's family from him, he has developed a reputation as a ruthless killer who some have begun calling to as Koshai, or the Immortal. They call him Koshai, the Immortal. However, Heldorf not take that words and he plans to obtain the gold because he is aware that the Nazi party is about to lose its hold on power and the gold will be their way to retire in peace. Until the Nazi convoy passes, Artami rushes and hides before rolling beneath one of their vehicles. To hide his scent from the Nazis' attack dogs, he cuts one of the fuel pipe on vehicle. When they Gasoline! smell the fuel, Heldorf and the others stop. They're able to see Artami when he try to escape and try to kill him, but he escapes by lighting a match that sparks the fuel that has been covering him, causing him to catch fire and escape into a nearby lake. Heldorf waits for him to come up for air while the Nazis shoot at him. Then he sends three Nazis on a boat to chase him down. Artami cuts the throats of the two guys as they sink in and steals their last breath. The third man attempts to escape them by riding the boat away, but Heldorf orders him to be shot. Artami gets on the boat and escapes, but Heldorf gets the Artami's dog. Artami encounters a town destroyed by the Nazis' tactics. He comes upon an abandoned gas station and he planned to stay at there. However where Heldorf signals the dog to hurry to his owner with carrying a stick of explosives. As Artami see the dog he removes the dynamite, however a sudden explosion throws him and losing consequences. Any last words? Heldorf, plus his two goons Wolf and Schutzer, show up and tie Artami up by the neck to hang him before stealing the rest of his gold. Artami manages to hook one of his wounds from the explosion onto a nearby pole to save himself from the noose. Two German pilots land by the next morning to obtain gasoline. When they approach Artami, he stabs one of them to death and knocks the other one unconscious. When he awakens, Artami makes him fly him closer to the platoon before hanging him and leaving him for the Nazis to find. Artami catches up to the platoon and convoy by flew with plane, when Nazi head toward Norway to make their escape with the gold. Artami blocked the road by using plane and get into the truck. The pilot has been hanged. That's my rope. That's the rope I used to hang Corpy with. Everybody move! He's back. Do you really believe that he's immortal? No. He just refuses to die. What? Artami attacked a Nazi, killed one and pulls one Nazi out onto the street, where he gets run over by a tank. He attacked, gets a hold of some guns and gives those to Aino and the other women. Uh. 
The women then arm themselves and pump the Nazis full of lead. Artami jumped to the tank and pulls Wolf out, leaving him to be taken by the women custody. Heldorf and Schutzer meet with their pilot to get him out, but Heldorf shoots Schutzer in the head and leaves with the pilot himself when pilot said there is only one seat available. Artami ride and catches up to them and shoots at him, hitting the pilot when plane take off. Artami then hooks himself onto the plane as it takes off with his pickaxe. Heldorf confronts him as he makes his way inside. He starts to beat Art Army ferociously, even using a static line to slice into his face. Art Army, on the other hand, waits for the appropriate opportunity to grab the line and connect it onto a nearby bomb and lowering it from the plane with Heldorf attached, sending him tumbling to his exploding demise. After the pilot has died, Artami enters the cockpit and bracing himself for impact as the plane crashes. Wolf is given to the Finnish army by Aino and the other prisoners. Artami, however, manages to free himself from a marsh and locate a motorcycle while reconciling with the Don. Artami takes rides to Helsinki and then arrives at a bank. Everyone watches at the filth-covered prospector entering with his pickaxe. He tosses all of the recovered gold on the counter after bringing it to Rotella. Finally speaking after remaining silent throughout the entire film, Artami asks for large bills because, they won't be such a bitch to carry.